我が炎は次へと全ての欲を消し去るまでは Yo, what's good? Light air. With the second anniversary comes our very talented fire and light warrior, Zazantos. It's finally here. Him, Orsted, Odio, and Alrika are the big three in the land of Orstera. He's still being used by JP players as one of the best fire attacking traveler. Let's go ahead and check him out. His VA is Jun Fukushima, or better known as Kazuma's VA from Konosuba. We've definitely heard him voice other Octopath travelers before, as he also voices Krauser. Anyways, onto Sazanto's notable damaging skills. His first ability is an SP cost of 74. It's an AoE sword damage attack that also hits fire and light. Boost level 4, this attack becomes 4 hits with potency 80. At boost level 6, this becomes a 6 hit with potency 90. This is with sword damage calculation, of course. The second ability is an SP cost of 58. It's a 3 hit single target sword damage attack and also hits fire and light. At boost level 4, it becomes 5 hits, potency of 100. Boost level 6, it becomes 8 hits with potency 90. Again, sword damage calculation. His last ability is an SP cost of 76. It's a 2 hit single target and also hits fire and dark, of course. And it covers 1 BP. At boost level 6, this attack will always crit. And this has a potency of 135. For his ultimate, he deals a 3 hit AoE sword damage attack that also hits fire and light with a potency of 130 at level 1. And 150 at level 10. And after using this ultimate, he restores 5 BP to the front row. For his notable support skill, Sacred Blaze Shield, he gives the front row physical defense, elemental defense, and dark resist by 15% for 2 turns. And if he max BPs this ability, the front row nullifies 1 hit to some elemental attacks and counters with light elemental damage, once he 200. The second skill is Sacred Blaze Might. He gives the front row a physical and elemental attack by 15%, and if he consumes 5 BP or more, he also lowers physical and elemental defense for all enemies by 15% for 2 turns. For his passive, Blade Master of Eld, he gives himself a sword damage up by 15%, and he enhances his boost level by 1. So if he uses 1 BP, he becomes 2, if he uses 3 BP, he becomes 4, and if he uses 5 BP, he becomes 6. Second passive is Blazing Spirit. Using a battle skill will restore 3 BP when a broken enemy is present. Then he has a 10% in light resistance and 20 in dark. Taking a look at his stats, again like Elrika and Odio, his attack is rather high with low speed. He does have a decent amount of SP so that will definitely keep him going a bit longer. But the main question, should you pull? He is the top 3 warriors to pull for on the Orstera side. As of right now, we don't have a notable traveler to take care of fire weakness. Cezantos does this well as he's able to deal sword damage. He's able to do 6 hits AoE damage if need be, and also do 8 hits to a single target. In terms of usability and breaking multiple enemies, he is above Arika. But in terms of damage to a single target, Arika has the upper hand as she can deal up to 10 hits. His ultimate is great to have as he restores the front row's BP by 5, and his support abilities are insane for a DPS traveler. You can nullify your front row a 1 hit elemental attack from an enemy and have them all counter with a light elemental attack each. Then his next more ability at max BP gives your front row a 7 turn physical and elemental attack of a 15% and also a AoE physical and elemental defense sound to all enemies. In terms of usefulness, Cezantos is the best warrior as of right now, followed by Odio O, then Aurika. Now longevity. Like I said before, JP is still using him as he is one of the best travelers for attacking fire. In terms of support skills, he has much more usefulness compared to Alrika and Odio. Anyways, let's go ahead and wrap it up. To their design, 5 out of 5. He's got a pretty cool drawing and sprite. Voice actor Jun Fukushima has a great VA, and this won't be the last time that we see him. Abilities, 4.5 out of 5. All visibilities are great. Longevity, 4.5. Again, he's possibly the best fire attacker in the game. Level buff, he didn't get any. Time limited, yes, he's part of the memory traveler. Overall impression, 4.5 out of 5. He is the best fire warrior in the game, and possibly the best current warrior. I would recommend getting him to A1 for that extra damage, A1 ultimate level 10 for a good spot to be, and A2 ultimate level 10 for best in slot. A3 is also great to have as you will get to use another skill, that might be asking too much. As A4 isn't all that great, and I wouldn't chase after it. Okay well that was it for Zazantos, let me know if you'll be pulling for him, I'll catch you on the next video, Light out.